Hey, is everybody doing? It's, uh, let's see, 22 hours and 14 minutes into the day of Wednesday, December 11th. And I'm working on some changes you'll see as the next uh, BTS vlog uploads to, uh, uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning around that time. Uh, you'll see a couple changes to BTS vlogs. Uh, we are now on the 30 minute format, trying to aim for that 30 minute mark. I'm going to try not to go over that mark. Uh, at the same time, I want to add in some other elements that will break up some of the monotony of the talking uh, and try to make it more, uh, to some, without, without reducing the information, try to make the uh, show more entertaining so that people will want to watch it more. So, in other words, <laughs> we're, uh, once it's working, now we're going to try to sort of fix it up make it better. And I'll use some of the editing techniques I've learned uh, in uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek and try to fix that up as well. So, that's kind of where we're going with these things right now. <coughs> Anyways, just began the day. Uh, I'm on the YouTube stroll, doing some work in the kitchen, making myself some breakfast. Uh, then I'll walk around, check to see if anything needs to be done, and then go from there. Oh, by the way, all the stuff, the uh, the parts for the heating system came in, so uh, I've already swapped some of the stuff out, and I want to decide how I want to do the rest of the swap out, if I'm going to do the rest of the swap out. Anyways, that's kind of it for now. I'll uh, see you guys in a couple hours uh, as we get the BTS vlog uh, uh, for uh, December 11th and 12th underway. That's Vlogmas uh, 11 and 12th. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty. Make it easy. It's just about uh, 6.30 in the morning yet. So let's give me a uh, time and date stamp. It's 6 hours and 37 minutes into the day of December 12th, 2013. So we're into uh, Vlogmas 12. So this is uh, Vlogmas 11 and 12. 11 has just passed. Now we're into 12. Oh... It's, uh, I can't remember when our last vlog, even it was a couple hours ago. Uh, and I told you just getting my day started. I had lunch and dinner, lunch and dinner, I've had lunch and dinner so far. I'm feeling a little knocked out. Uh, what ended up happening is I ended up uh, uh, having some problems in the kitchen diner. A lot of times when you run out of space, a lot of times it, it, it's not necessarily that, that it's not necessarily that you're out of space. Just things need to be organized. So I ended up pulling apart the entire kitchen diner and reorganizing the whole thing. And this is what I said before. Uh, a lot of times when you're doing stuff, it's an issue of organizing, reorganizing, and then reorganizing, reorganizing again. You know, in other words, uh, as you move along, as you improve things, as you find new different ways of doing things. Uh, you do need to pull apart what you have so far and uh, reorganize it. Same thing with the research desk, same thing with uh, any computer system, the network. Uh, always require reorganization, re reconfiguration. Uh, my notes are certainly getting, uh, they're a lot larger now than they were before last, as compared to last year. So there is a reorganization of the notes. I also have to do a realignment on the network. That's also an issue that's sort of popping up now. Along with, uh, I'm a little bit behind on uh, my editing work. So, uh, but you, while you have the, 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 the behinds, you do have your successes. And I think tomorrow I should be able to clear up a large chunk of the backlog that I have, including getting out another episode of Big Bang, uh, 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 another episode of uh, Beauty and the Geek. Let's see if I can sort of keep that on you. A large chunk of, uh, of the production notes are done. A lot of the uh, pre-production stuff, in other words, I have to set up pictures 
and organize the notes so I, as I'm going through the notes I can see the pictures as I'm talking about them and this will sort of make it easier to line up uh, the dynamic graphics uh, as I'm talking about different things uh, so that has to be done and then that kind of sets you up if, if you do that right this is what I'm trying to get that done here right if I do the pre-production properly it makes post-production on the editing bay much better and that's sort of what I'm doing now is I'm I've reorganized the editing bay that allows pre-production and post-production to really flow together so that uh, the time amount of time spent uh, doing each one is is uh, brought to its uh, at this point in time, anyway, it's maximum efficiency. Uh, there's always room to improve. There's always room to uh, do things in a better manner as you improve, as you get more equipment, you know, and so on and so forth. But for now, from what I've learned and what I understand, uh, this was sort of be uh, in the flow of things. So uh, we'll see what I can get put out this weekend. The goal is to see uh, on this week, on the weekend, for the, B the, uh, the weekend BTS vlog, uh, what else, in addition to the BTS vlog, I can actually get out, and that uh, we'll know we'll know by Monday. We'll know by Monday, but I will uh, because uh, even though I'll be recording the BTS vlogs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, the BTS vlog for that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday probably will not be out until Tuesday. There's kind of a day discrepancy in between the you know between the, the shooting because if I finish shooting on Monday morning. Uh, with the BTS vlog, then what's going to end up happening is that uh, I'll have to edit it the night, the, the night uh, Tuesday night, and it goes up. To, uh, not, uh, the Monday Tuesday night uh, vlog is when I'll be editing the weekend vlog and then putting it up on Tuesday morning. Um, whenever you see, if you watch my videos, if you see my eyes closing like this, it just means my eyes are so tired. Uh, I've been doing a lot of studying today as well at the research desk. It means my eyes are so tired that uh, and my body is fatigued enough that I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. That's where I'm sort of vlogging now because I know in a few minutes that uh, I'm going to be too tired to vlog. So <laughs> that's kind of what's happening now. But anyways, the, the kitchen diner came, came up really nice. I really like the way it's going. Uh, it should be camera ready. This weekend, that's that's the goal. That th things have worked out well enough that the kitchen diner should be camera ready this weekend. That means I should be able to start doing some uh, work, some test shots on the kitchen diner. And you'll see them here at the BTS vlog. Uh, in the BTS vlogs, uh, you'll see these test shots uh, as I do them. I went by uh, today. I was spent most of the day today in terms of my YouTube stroll. I spent most of my day at more Christie's, and now I just sort of finished up here at uh, Lifebury. Uh, it, it's, it's interesting to see vloggers on the internet uh, really sort of sharing their adventures as they try to reach for their dreams. And that's what I think a, a, lot, a lot of things that we have in common is we're all trying to reach for our dreams. We're trying to do things that are not necessarily usual. And in our vlogging, we invite you into our particular worlds uh, as we kind of go along. Now, uh, more Christie and uh, Lifebury uh, have a more exciting, even Jen Penn have, has a lot more exciting life than I do. I'm primarily here at the research desk, but I'm going to try to, as I said, I'm going to try to, to, to change things up a little bit uh, and bring in something that's uh, in between the different, in between these, these segments here. Add a little, maybe one to two minutes in between the segments that is uh, not necessarily the same thing. In other words, break it up a little more, uh, give it uh, a better, a more palatable flow to things. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. I This is something that's going to be, I'm going to have to sort of experiment and play around with. And it will take me some, uh, so this is why it's uh, the, B, the BTS vlog uh, for uh, uh, 10 and 11 is kind of on the editing bay, but not finished yet. I'm still working on some of the post-production issues to really sort of bring out some of the new editing techniques I'm trying to learn. Uh, and I think that I, I'm learning as I go along here. And part of the problem is, is that uh, I'm on Linux. Everything's done on Linux here. Uh, none of the stuff is professional software, which means that I have, if I want to do uh, an effect or 
uh, something like that, I have to find a workaround for it. It doesn't come to you automatically. It's not push button. None of the stuff I'm doing here is push button. So that's why it does take a bit of time. And uh, <laughs> bit by bit, we'll go. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get where we're going. We, you know, I, I always do in some form. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will talk to you in a bit. Well, actually, a couple hours. And uh, let me do something else. All right. See you then. It's time to get started. That's right. Let's start with the time and date stamp. It is 4 hours and 13 minutes into the day of Friday, December 13th. That is our vlog date. Uh, and uh, why is it 4 o'clock in the morning I'm doing this? Well, um, I got a late start to the day. And if you may notice, this was supposed to be the, the, vlog, uh, the BTS vlog for... Uh, yeah, what is it again? <laughs> for 11 and 12, right? For December 11 and 12, but now it's the 13th. Uh, and that's kind of what happens, is that, uh, I said before, my, my, uh, time when I start getting up has, it always shifts. And it shifts again, so, now, uh, I was supposed to get up around midnight and start my work again, but I did get up at midnight. Uh, just wasn't feeling up to doing anything. And so basically I got up around 3, had something to drink, and then just sort of milled around a little bit. And it was in this sort of milling around that uh, uh, the day fundamentally started. And that happens, that happens a lot. It just, you know, sometimes it takes a while to sort of kick into, th it, it kick into things. And a lot of times it's, it's doing the YouTube stroll. And as I do the YouTube stroll, I find different things. Uh, basically, I went to a couple uh, anonymous places. Not really anonymous places. A couple different uh, YouTube stops. They weren't anything particularly special. They were kind of light and stuff like that. Then from there, uh, what popped up was uh, the Awesomeness TV uh, suggestions started to pop. And so I follow a little bit on the uh, Awesomeness TV because I know uh, Gen X Pen is there. So to follow that to there. Uh, that led to uh, Justin Bieber, to Selena Gomez, to Taylor Swift, and eventually to this new uh, singer called Lord. And how everybody's sort of fawning over her. Uh, and, and sort of, there's this whole, I guess, uh, she appears to be a person who is coming right in off the bat, trying not to be mainstream. <laughs> you know, she's she's an alt rock person inside of a pop music industry. So, in other words, she's taking a dig at the pop stars who are fundamentally, uh, uh, well, that, yeah, pop stars. Uh, and the bizarre thing is that one of the things when, when her video popped up, and this is what happens sometimes in the suggestions, another person's pop, video popped up in, um, she's in Korea. So I went over there to listen to her, 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 her um, uh, it's called Jen Goes to Korea. That's the title of the video. Went to listen to that video. And the opening theme sounded very familiar to me. I said, I can't place it, can't place it. Started thinking about it, realized it was the opening bit to uh, Saga's uh, theme, the Saga song, Don't Be Late. Saga is a group, uh, 1981. That's when the song came out, around 1981. Someone went back, listened to that, and Saga then leads you into uh, this whole thing of uh, progressive, pro progressive rock. This is the uh, form of rock music that Genesis came out of. Uh, it was a real movement uh, in England that really pushed bands outside of the pop industry and sort of bringing a lot of experimentation into the music. And the thing is, what, 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 what kind of brings us back to the whole Lord question in, 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 in her song, Royals, is that... The song Royals, and a lot, I, listen, I, I listen to her album, and the album is, is actually a, a very reminiscent of this whole uh, progressive rock thing. And so while people, are, uh, the, the younger, generation, younger generation, thinks this is something that's new, it's not really new. It's something that's sort of being regurgitated, is, is coming back again, just in a different form. The question I have is, is whether or not, um, see, when you're talking about uh, these progressive, progressive rock bands, uh, from the 60s, from the late 60s and early 70s, 
uh, that produced the bands Yes, Genesis, and stuff like that. They were writing their own music. They were they weren't pop stars. They were writing their own music. They were actually musicians. They weren't simply out. They, they weren't. See, today's musicians aren't, uh, and particularly pop stars aren't actually musicians. They're karaoke singers. They're out there. They're simply the singers. They don't write their own music. They're simply uh, singing what somebody else has wrote from them. All you have to do to understand this is watch uh, YTV's Big Time Rush, and you'll understand that there is a musician, the producer, producer Gustavo Rock, who is writing all the song, and the boys in the boy band are simply singing his songs. And <laughs> this is the way the pop industry is. The pop industry is very fake and phony, and it's not designed simply to entertain. And the people in front of you who are entertaining you are entertainers. They're not musicians. Uh, the earlier rock, uh, the progressive rock uh, uh, style that came out of England, uh, along with uh, heavy metal, like, like Ozzy Osbourne and stuff like that, that stuff was all real music. These were mu these were musicians. And so what happens, What a lot of the, the equivalents that you're seeing today between the the uh, heavy parting scene the, or the wild lifestyle of Justin Bieber and, and so on and so forth being compared, and, and Miley Cyrus, particularly Miley Cyrus, I'm going to bring Miley Cyrus into this, uh, is being compared back to the old rock days. But the problem is, these so-called entertainers are just that they're entertainers. They're not part of that rock crowd. They're not part of the, the rock. They're not, they're not musicians. And yet they're being treated as if they are musicians. Uh, but I guess that's kind of where the things go sometimes. Uh, there were, pop and music has always been around. It was even around in the 60s. You, that, uh, if to go, to go, go back and to, to compare Miley Cyrus and uh, Big Time Rush, uh, Justin Bieber, you wouldn't compare them to the Beach Boys. You would compare them primary, or, or Yes, or Genesis, or Pink, or Pink Floyd, or uh, Ozzy Osbourne. You would compare them to the Monkees. What you would see on your popular TV show. So when we go back to the 60s and the 70s, there was a popular TV show called The Monkees, and it was about uh, four boy, boys singing in a band. That was a made-up TV show, just like BTR is, uh, that produced the boy band. This is what the whole pop genre is. It's all about comparison, but they, they're not really musicians. They kind of glommed on to musicians afterwards, but uh, they're not really musicians. They didn't come up the way musicians came up. But this is this is kind of how the day kind of starts for me. It's not necessarily a cut-out day. Uh, uh, when I'm tired, and because this, this is like doing a lot of documentaries. i got another documentary up here now. Uh, the documentaries... And, and looking for your notes and to decide the documentary, it's like taking it's like taking a ten hour car drive. When you get out of it, it's really you're really groggy, you're really tired, and you really need to just sort of drop and sleep. But when you get up again, it's hard getting your mind going. It's hard sort of figuring out where you're going to go next. And this is part of the random walk. The random walk is just as it. It's random. So where you're going to go is basically whatever information starts to come in on the research desk as you start getting going. And this is kind of where we are now. So, and that's why um, the Friday the 13th is now part of the BTS vlog for uh, uh, 11 and 12. So it's going to be uh, uh, 11, 12, and 13 now. That's part. That's, that's the BTS vlog. It's extended it. Anyways, our time is up, and I will see you in the next segment. It's time to end this vlog. Yeah, it's a very long vlog. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times when we put uh, when I put days together for the vlog, it's not because I necessarily want to. It's just that's just the way things go here. Uh, so let me give the time and date stamp. It is now 22 hours and 17 minutes into the day of Friday, December 13th, 2013. Uh, <sighs> And it does definitely appear that my sleep schedule is uh, moving forward. Before I had been given getting up at noon, then I was getting up around six, and now it's around nine o'clock in the evening. Well, ten o'clock in the evening. That's where I'm I'm, I'm getting up now. Uh, nine ten o'clock is time. That's also starting to swing. So I can imagine that uh, next week it will be sometime around two three o'clock in the morning that I'll be getting up. <laughs> Uh, I was able to get a large chunk of uh, the work that I needed to get done yesterday done. 
I'm basically at the end of uh, every day. I have a certain amount of work to do, and I never actually finish everything. There's always work to be done left over for the for the following day. For the time, for, uh, following day means when I get up again, because it's not necessarily a difference between night and day. Um, and one of the things I was working on is I'm retooling uh, uh, BTS the, the BTS logs. I'm re-editing them, and I want to put together. I wanted to put together something a little different that breaks up the monotony of the talking all the way through. Like, if you like documentaries, like I, I watch my I watch my own videos just to see how they work. I watch it on the, on, the, on, the, on my IPTV just to see how it is on the big screen, how it works out in terms of stuff like that. On a documentary scale, pretty good. Uh, most documentary uh, uh, documentaries are all talking all the way through. There's not really a lot of action in there, and there's just a lot of extra scenery behind the things. But uh, it's the information that's in the documentary that's important, not necessarily uh, uh, the the uh, the scenery. Although sometimes the scenery is good too, but <laughs> it's the information that you go to the documentary for. Uh, so on the information side, I'm doing pretty good. It's just the way the uh, the vlog was sort of cut, with the way it was edited together, that kind of could have been done a little better. So what I did could have been done a little bit better. So what I've done is I've gone in, I've, in, uh, I've added in, you'll see this in between segments, there's a five-minute transition spacer. Not a five-minute, a five-second uh, transition spacer that sort of allows you to transition from one segment to the next segment. Uh, I'm also going to try to sort of roll in... Uh, uh, other bits and pieces in between the segments as well. So there'll be like one segment, then there'll be uh, a little bit of extra stuff, some like some fun stuff, like 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 a tag or uh, uh, or video response. Uh, and what I do is rather than playing the entire video response, uh, a lot of times video responses could be a minute or two minutes, and that will be in that little space here there in between. So, in other words, it's not going to be straight through with all the segments. There will be spaces in between uh, that allows you to sort of uh, break up the conversation as we go along. Uh, also, you know, I want to tell people that, that, you know, as you're watching this, uh, you don't have to watch this straight through. You can stop and start. You can, uh, you know, watch as much as you want, watch as little as you want. You want to watch the end piece and watch the end piece. In other words, uh, however you want to watch this is up to you. We're ma I'm making this available to you. Cyborg Alpha TV is available to you uh, from everywhere. It's, it's going to be available on everything from your phone to the big screen TV. In other words, we're, I'm aiming to cover all the vices. So, that's the way we're going with that. And, uh, yeah, so, I think this is going to be the end. Well, it definitely is going to be the end because uh, in a few minutes, uh, I'm going to be starting uh, the BTS vlog for the weekend. Uh, the weekend BTS vlog. Uh, I've, I've got, I've, I had, uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek in the editing bay, but it's not. But I've gone back and started to reshooting the beat, the, beat, the next episode for Beauty and the Geek. Uh, again, I'm using some new editing techniques I've learned. I spent most of the day yesterday learning these new editing techniques, and they're working out pretty good. Uh, so, uh, and the thing is that when you're learning a technique, it's not necessarily when you bring it to Linux, it's not necessarily as cut and dry as you think it is. You have to sort of uh, adjust things. Uh, and adding extra steps to sort of uh, resolve some of the problems. Uh, and this is particularly... Uh, 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 Linux seems to have a hard time mixing formats. So when you're editing, everything has to be in the same format. It can't, one thing can't be AVI. Another, you know, if you want to produce an MP4 lay, uh, uh, thing, then you have to produce an MP4. If you want an AVI, you have to produce an AVI in, in terms of editing. Uh, and this is what I kind of realizes that you actually have to do that in uh, in, in Linux to do this. Uh, you have to make sure that everything is in the right uh, uh, format and that you edit everything in the same format. So I got that down. I, then I got uh, uh, working on more of the graphic overlays to add in more graphic overlays here. Uh, and that should be something new that's coming in. There's, there's bits and pieces of it that are going to start rolling out over the next two weeks uh, I'll be adding in new graphic overlays adjusting the graphic overlays in here 
uh, and this will sort of, sort of, uh, I think, will uh, tidy up the uh, BTS vlog as a show, aiming for a half-hour format, so that you can sort of turn on your TV if you're watching it on TV, and just sort of, you know, you got a half-hour show there. Uh, then I've also been working on some uh, Insta vlogs for next week as well. Uh, those should be coming back on stream full screen as, as the editing gets gets sort of gets resolved. That the editing issues, <clears throat> as the editing issues get resolved, that should come back and and be on a more regular basis. In other words, on a more regular basis. In other words, editing is really right now the uh, stumbling block that sort of blocks everything up. That's really the stumbling block right now. When I get to the, that's the stumbling block right now. When I get to the editing desk. There are things that I need to sort of really sort of hash out in terms of the editing and scheduling. Uh, that's where I need to sort of resolve some of the problems now. So I'm out right now. The problems are on the editing desk, and once I resolve the edit editing desk problems, then we should be all right. Anyways, I will see you in a few, uh, just less than an hour, uh, for the next BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.